Oh, shit, 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 shit. All right, guys, we're back. Yeah, YouTube just shut down my fucking stream. <laughs> what the fuck, YouTube? Yeah, they just shut down my stream at random. I don't know what the hell happened there. I guess the topic of, of uh, discussion was a bit too real. <laughs> Cause that was, that was weird. That's never fucked. Well, no, that's never happened. Or the, well, I don't think it's never happened. Like, oh, wait, stream lapse. But it's like, if it happened before it was, it was probably only once. Cause I rarely ever remember that happening. Them just shutting my stream down. That was weird. Cause I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at chat and it's not moving. <laughs> it's not moving at all. I'm wondering where the hell's everybody at? And yeah, they just, YouTube just shuts down my stream. I have no idea what that was about. And I can put this here. Hang on a second. Damn it. There we go. I am. Right, yeah, we're going to get it back. Guys, we're going to get it back. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, it's presenting the new video and like the chat just froze. And I'm like, where, where the fuck is everybody? Okay. All right, we back. We back. Can't stop us now. <laughs> uh, anyway, before I was brutally interrupted by the uncool people at YouTube, I was going to say that this next truly couple look like Portland personified, uh, despite the fact that I don't even think they're from Portland. But yeah, they don't yeah, they don't they don't look like reasonable they look like they throw tantrums at, at college camp on college campuses. <laughs> Leah Marie, YouTube hates free speech. The amount of comments I've had deleted is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry about that. Adam guy, it's 2003. Everyone. I hope my comments weren't what got it shut down. I'll tone it down. So as to not offend the easily offended and ruin things for me. I feel like Mike, as soon as Michael said that they got rejected for adoption twice, the, the stream just shut down. <laughs> like that, like right before it shut down. Like he said that, like, well, they said that. I don't, I don't know if it's a girl or a guy, but, um, yeah, that's when it shut down. That was, that's also a bit weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but, um, yeah, let's get back into it. But yeah, the, yeah, the name of this video is My Girlfriend Won't Sleep With Me. <laughs> Love, don't judge. Ugh. This is Sam. She fell in love with Connor. I'm asexual. I don't have... Oh, no. She's asexual. Okay. Ugh. I'm asexual. Sexual. I don't have any sexual attraction. I could live without it. And because that into you could live without it, not <laughs> yeah. I don't like the way you phrase that. that doesn't sound like asexual. And just I can live without it. Eh, whatever, take it or leave it. That life is unconventional. The pair have received backlash online. They think I'm going to cheat on Sam because you probably are. <laughs> Because, well, you know, I'll get to that. I'll make that point in a second. I'm a man and men need sex. And men need sex constantly. Asexuals will be... No, it's because you're in an intimate relationship with someone. And, yeah, well, yeah, part of it is you being a man. I'm not saying that you need it constantly and it's just some fuck machine. But uh, eventually, you're gonna want to fuck her. And this is not going to be sustainable for you. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Like, yeah, you're not, like, yeah, it, it's not the stereotype where just guy only, the only thing guys think about is sex or blah, blah, blah. But I'm just saying, um, 
the integral part, an integral part of a romantic, loving relationship is sex, especially for a guy. <laughs> and yeah, it probably won't fucking last. Sorry. <laughs> Down. Unless you try to con your way into her pants. All of civilization. The chance of you guys growing old and staying faithful is almost zero. Being with you must be torture. Yeah, next thing you know, they're gonna say they're in a polycule or some shit. That's the way it always, where it always goes with these types of people. What's the point of being with you then? I am Connor. This is my girlfriend, Sam, who is asexual. I don't have any sexual attraction. I still have romantic attraction, but you know, sex is just off. I still have romantic attraction. I love how they think there's some kind of difference. <laughs> because you could still have a romantic attraction to somebody and not have a relationship at all. Or like, it could just be like an infatuation. How can you tell the difference between uh, like a basic infatuation and uh, a deep love with someone? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. I'm just talking shit. But I just thought that, like, oh, I, no, I don't, I don't have a sexual love. I have a romantic love. But the thing is, with, with dudes at least, like, romantic love usually leads to sex with them. Or just any normal person, but yeah, especially dudes. So I'm just like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the table for us. It's not something that's really in our relationships. I realized I was asexual in middle school, so probably. <laughs> And she's even, she got the dumb haircut and she's wearing the asexual flag. I f found this out in middle school, by the way. In middle school, you know, when my body is still growing, going through puberty and all that jazz. And I'm probably not, I'm probably still at that like little area where I'm kind of like grossed out by sex and I don't really understand it because, well, naturally you shouldn't be having sex while you're in middle school. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, so I, yeah, I just decided, decided I was asexual in middle school. You may enter. Only like Couldn't be any other factors involved. Seventh grade. And I know that's early on and like not everybody knows, but it, it just stuck. You know, now I'm 22. I'm still asexual. It was right at the beginning of COVID. Lockdown everywhere. Yeah. So everybody was lonely. We had a mutual friend and she was like, oh, do you want to like come hang out and do a trunk party? And like the trunk party was when like everyone would be social distance and like all the in cars a, would be in a circle. Empty parking lot. Yeah, so we'd yeah. all sit in our trunks and like talk. That's where we met each other. We met from a distance. It, within the first couple of times we saw each other, I was like, oh, well, she's very beautiful. I definitely had an interest in you. We kind of had a similar group of friends at the time, so we just kept hanging out. I was attracted to him, honestly, after he kind of made it obvious. I feel like I'm a very like free, person i'd say i'm like unique open-minded he caught on to that very quickly definitely unique open-minded just not to dick <laughs> i told him right when i felt like we were gonna actually be together i yeah. wanted to make sure he knew that so he wasn't jumping into anything that he didn't want to be in i was definitely confused at first it was definitely uh, a journey on just kind of educating myself i wasn't really nervous because i've always just been like blatantly open with who i am and if that's not for yeah, you see like the thing that doesn't work with me here that, that like this is this is how you know he's gonna cheat and, <laughs> and just leave her ass because their whole like this is the this is the problem with like worshiping all these like sexualities and genders and like just the whole like oh, like, oh this is, i'm this sexual and this is is the fact that these motherfuckers try to portray themselves as the most open-minded sexually free and sexually free like like sexually liberated people and at the same time they're like well i'm asexual i don't every sexuality is just gross <laughs> but you i mean you put yourself out there you, you latch on to this persona or latch on to this movement where like, yeah, we're sex positive, but now I'm very in this, li this liberal movement, right? That's centered around like sexuality and flags and open-mindedness and blah, blah, blah. And then you decide to just be like, oh no, I'm asexual. <laughs> no, no, fuck it. And it's not really based in any kind of like religious thing. It's not based on 
just being celibate or anything. It's just, well, I just decided at middle in middle school that I was asexual. <laughs> And, and plus, you got a, a man who's also who also does the whole song and dance you do. Uh, you know, judging by the tattoos and like the, you know the, the ornaments you have around your fucking neck, uh, and you know, like you, you like you have a boyfriend who does the same song and fucking dance you do. He might just end up being with some sex positive feminist bitch who does everything, <laughs> and just leave your ass. Because like I said, this is, this is the, this is the community y'all decided to be a part of. Where y'all fly flags and shit and you think, oh, oh yeah, well kink should be at pride <laughs> and shit like that. And, and then, you did, but then you want to do shit like this. And then rope some somebody else into it who also like like I said who believes in the same shit you do. It's just not like you think if you thought it wasn't gonna work for like um, it, it might not even work. Yeah, it's not gonna work for like a like a regular straight person either. But y'all like base your fucking personalities around your sexuality. And he's a man. <laughs> That's it's just not, like naturally it's not gonna work out. Just naturally. He going to get with some free thinking, weed smoking, hoe ass, not washing my armpits, bitch, as soon as he finds her. <laughs> and he's gonna, then he's going to say, or no, 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 no. He's going to sucker her into some kind of fucking threesome thing. Into some kind of, like I said, they're going to be in a polycule soon. Because, oh, I need to get a woman who can fulfill his needs because I can't. And then, and then he's just going to run off with the other chick. Look at his face right here. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. he's he, he's out of here. <laughs> he's already out of here. Ugh. Somebody, then they're not supposed to be in my life. I would say our our intimacy and sex life is definitely not what society deems as normal. It's not routine. No, there will be no the two minute relationship with a woman doesn't want to have sex and is kind of just stringing you along for emotional support. No, no, that's. <laughs> That's a normal in society. That happens. <laughs> You're not abnormal, homie. This is not a queer relationship. Like, it's totally, yeah, this happens. Times when we are physically intimate, and that's... Third base. Yeah. <laughs> Third base is, like, the line, I feel like, with us. Oh, yeah, I make out with him, but I don't have sex with him. I'll get him hard. <laughs> I'll make him... Th and there's that face. There's another face. Like, oh, the, the displeasure. But yeah, I'll, I'll get him hard. I'll make him think something's going to happen. But um, nothing happens because I'm asexual. <laughs> it goes up to third base. and it, Like, a, I think a true asexual wouldn't even do that, to be honest. Like, because what, what the, where the fuck is that going to lead? And why would they feel compelled to do it? I don't even think they would do that. That, that sounds fishy to me. <laughs> That's like, that's like fine, I guess. Mm -hmm. We've been together for four years. We've tried whatever. Experimented. It works for us. You know, I'm not pushing my boundaries. He's not pushing my boundaries. It's not the forefront of our relationship. It's He's not pushing my boundaries, which is, which is, no, 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 no. She said, I'm not pushing his boundaries, bitch. <laughs> what boundaries can you push? You don't want to have sex with him. You ain't pushing nothing. That's the point priority it just brings us closer it's what he feels is right in the relationship and i'm okay with i hate it like, <laughs> i like <laughs> truly knows exactly what they're doing with these close-ups that's all i'm gonna say steven de leon welcome to the long bro <laughs> welcome welcome to the long bros boy um Lenore of Arabia, now that I'm thinking about it, she does kind of look like, look and sound like Boogie's girlfriend. Oh, God. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Lenore of Arabia, gonna spend more hook. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's not what my, oh, or is that what my little thing looks like? My little notification came up? Come on, oh, wait, no, man. never mind. I guess that's just a special one. 
Because I'm like, where the fuck did my little black boxes go? Anyway, let's move on. Um, oh my god, I was in the middle of reading something. Okay, Lenore of Arabia, gonna spend more on hookers than Boogie2998. 2988. Shit. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, it's just not sustainable. I don't think this is gonna last at all. Come on in, gentlemen. Uh, Stephen DeLeon gifted five Jane Longbone memberships. Oh, thank you. Oh, you were gifted gifted to other people. Okay, so well, still that's still good. That's still great. I don't know how exactly how this thing works, but you know, thank you anyway. But yeah, this dude, mm, mm -mm. I think he's checked out. Uh, 1990 BJK, 799 Super Chat. I'm sure she's actually asexual and doesn't have at least 10 other dudes on the side that she's fucking at all. <laughs> that you know not every asexual is going to do that and that's okay but usually it's very rare once it brings us closer it's what he feels is right in the relationship and i'm okay it works for us you know i'm not that's like fine <laughs> hang on we're fine. physically intimate and that's third base yeah <laughs> third base is mm, like the line i feel like with us like that's like that's like fine <laughs> i mm -hmm. guess we <laughs> i just noticed that Third base is like, it's like fine. He was like, mm hmm. <laughs> that was that discontent black woman, uh huh. <laughs> mm hmm. I feel like. Except, except with less um, pizzazz put on it. With us, like, that's like, that's like fine, <laughs> I mm -hmm. guess. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's really short and curt with a little less, piz with less pizzazz. But it's that same, that's, a, that's that black woman, like, mm hmm. <laughs> he is on his way out, man. Oh, bro. We've been together for four years. We've tried whatever. Experimented. It works for us, you know. I'm We've experimented with what? Getting a third base is not experimenting. <laughs> which y'all, which y'all been experimenting with? And how would y'all even experiment anyway if you're asexual? Like I can't even, I can't even fathom some shit like that. Having someone who is, has no sexual interest in you, but still wants to be in a romantic relationship with you. And then you're horny as fuck and they just don't want to do anything. <laughs> they don't want to do a fucking thing. And then when they do decide to do it, it's like they're being, like they got, they're forced to do it because well, they love you and they got to do it even though they're not wired that way. And it, it just feels like, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> this feels icky. Like, how could you even get through that shit? How could that even be pleasurable for the both of you if you have to force yourself into doing it? That's just, that sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds fucking awful. Not pushing my boundaries. He's not pushing my boundaries. It's not the forefront of our relationship. It's nowhere near. Oh, wait, not so grump 777. Maybe we're gonna fuck. <laughs> oh, the good old days. You're a priority. It just brings us closer. It's what he feels is right in the relationship, and I'm okay with that. You know, not every asexual is going to do that, and that's okay. But usually it's very rare once in a Yeah, love is a human right. We're all human. Yeah, the, they're, they're flag warriors. <laughs> they're, they're flag babies. This, ain't, this, this shit ain't gonna work out. This shit's not gonna work out. You're the type of people whose personality just centers around your sexuality. Sexuality. You feel me? And when you live that life, you cannot, you're not gonna be with a fucking asexual person. That's just not gonna happen. You see how asexuals get fucking um, mocked by the LGBT community because they're like, like, <laughs> like we're out here in pride doing the kink shit and you're just, what, just gonna stand there with your arms crossed like. <laughs> We out here being hypersexual as fuck. <laughs> you just sitting there like a like a little virgin. <laughs> like it's just not these. That's what I'm saying. Like why do asexuals even want to be a part of the LGBT? It doesn't even make any sense. It's not a sexuality. It's a lack of sexuality. You don't have a sexuality. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> How are you a part of that group? You're not a part of that group. They don't make no sense. Like why would you even want to be a part of that? Like they don't. They clearly don't like you. <laughs> They think you're annoying. Like I've seen, I've not like they always like clown. Is that why I feel sorry for them? 
Because trying to get your way in there is just like, why? But like, I don't feel sorry for them, but like they're always getting clowned by the LGBT. So I'm like, why? Why even try? Uh, Neem, $5 super chat. I'm asexual and actively cutting my non-asexual partner off from the possibility of intimacy. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> Darshan, too good. Two pound super chat. Hello from the UK. Hello to you again. I, yeah, like I said, I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't see you when my, inter, when my, um, stream got cut off. <laughs> Uh, Hannah Jock, anything that's not hetero is LGBT uh, or something. Yeah, like, but that's, it's not like it's not, it's not anything. That's the thing. It's not straight or gay. It's not anything, <laughs> which is fine. Whatever you got, you don't want to have sex, don't do it. Like that's perfectly fucking fine. But I'm like, that's not like, like you said, it's not, they think because it's not straight me, must mean it's gay, but it's not even gay either. It's nothing. <laughs> it's not like. Sometimes nothing is not, sometimes nothing isn't an insult. It's just what it is. Asexuality is nothing. <laughs> it's not a sexuality. You don't do it because. Oh, wait, wait, Madam Fluffy Hell, if she's doing anything remotely sexual, she's not asexual. Yeah, basically. Do that and that's okay. But usually it's very rare once in a blue moon. You don't do it because you are. You know, wait, 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 I keep missing something. Uh, Seth Brown, yay, more JL. You owe us on Twitter for making us see that awful JLo movie. I know, I'm sorry. And, and shit, I might even want, make y'all watch it on YouTube. I might cut it down into a more manageable video like I did for uh, Damsel. So possibly look out for that. <laughs> Stephen, De Le uh, <laughs> Stephen De Leon, uh, $5 super chat. You're gonna let me in those draws? No. Well, then you're gonna get, you're getting the stepping. Ace detective, I am Jack's lack of horniness. Every asexual is going to do that, and that's okay. But usually, it's very rare. Once in a blue moon. You don't do it because you are driven by. It. Wait, wait, rewind. Right. I keep me missing the. Po with that you know not every asexual is going to do that and that's okay but usually it's very rare once in a blue moon you don't do it because you are driven by a sexual mm -hmm. desire i could live without it like exactly. for the rest of my life exactly. Ugh, see this is not that's not good yeah you sexually please sexually i bet you she gives him like limp hand jobs <laughs> that's probably what he means by we experiment she he gives she gives me hand jobs because that's something that she doesn't really have to get into i don't have to poke at her you know she gives she gives him hand jobs i think that's what that's code for because that's it's something that doesn't require any poking she doesn't have to suck anything like nothing she doesn't put any she, she doesn't have to put put any real effort in basically and i bet you the, the the hand jobs aren't even that good because in this interview he doesn't look that happy <laughs> but even then i'm like what the fact that it's like a chore, like, oh, I guess it's time to fuck my boyfriend. Something I could totally live without. Like, yeah, that it is, ugh. <laughs> As someone who, when in a relationship, definitely like wants to get sexual and like is, yeah. When, I, when I'm in a relationship, I'm, I wanna fuck, preferably a lot. If it's not a lot, then that's fine. But yeah, I'm, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, yeah. As someone who really sees, uh, uh, sees sex as a requirement, uh, in a relationship, this is just like, what? Huh? <laughs> it's, but it's like, sex is supposed to be a unifying thing between, uh, two partners. And I'm um, just like, I, I don't get it. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. I definitely feel like there's a societal pressure to be sexual in a relationship. Like people think that they can fix you or like they'll still get with you thinking there's some other potential with you. I mean, there's definitely a lot of societal pressure through media. I mean. It's, bro, stop it. It's, there's, soci there's societal pressure in your pants. Stop it. <laughs> You're a guy. 
and you want this is what kills me both this is what kills me about both like progressives and like the far or not far right wing but just right wing in general like like um uh conservatives and shit is that they pretend like oh you know they act like being a guy a horny guy is like a disease <laughs> they do the same shit feminists do like they act like a hor- like a horny man is disgusting and should not happen like every dude basically has a porn addiction <laughs> Like you have a porn addiction because you like to see, like a collection of ones and zeros in a video game have a big ass. Like, no, motherfucker, <laughs> it's not how that works. There's some level of control because I'm a human being that go like that goes into that. Like dudes are horny, yes, and like so if we we didn't te- didn't treat it like it was a fucking issue every goddamn time. Maybe y'all wouldn't feel like everything was a porn addiction. <laughs> but, you know, okay. The industry, for one of them. Um, what? The pressure through media. I mean, the industry, for one of them. I watch a lot of... It, it, like, yeah, that's code for I watch a lot of porn or used to watch a lot of porn. <laughs> or I watch porn when I was really young. Like, I've never gotten societal pressure from porn to have sex. My horniness get, pressured me to have sex. <laughs> Society is pressuring us to have sex. Nigga, please. <laughs> please. Because half the time, pe- like like fan fiction or some shit like that, or like people drawing Rule 34 shit, it's just a product of every, everything's just a product of someone else's fucking horniness. And like you have a choice whether or not to look at it. It's like if you can't control yourself, that's your fucking problem. Like if you feel like you are, so you're you're in a relationship with someone who is asexual, so you f- automatically now feel like you you have some kind of issue. And if she's making you feel that way, she ain't no, that's fucked up. If she's not telling you like look look I get it you're a guy you like to fuck, <laughs> and you you like to, I get it you don't have to shame yourself over that. I'm just asexual. You don't have you don't have to lower yourself to get to my level. <laughs> well, no, no, that was that's the wrong thing to say. You don't have to denigrate yourself in order to fit in with my lifestyle. Okay, that's that's already a red flag. The fact that he has to like shrink himself down in order to fit in her world is like that's already that's mm 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 mm. That's not a good sign. Jack Diamond, two dollars super chat. Sorry, I'm late, Queen. Execute me after the stream. <laughs> uh, hello, and I, I, I execute not no execution necessary. But yeah, he's 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 doing the he's doing the guy thing. He thinks because he likes her right now. He like I said, he's got to shrink himself in order to fit in um, with her little asexual world because he likes her. <laughs> and the fact that he's doing that is already a red flag. It, like a huge sign that this is going to fail miserably. Um, that was something that I struggled with a lot. I knew a lot. Of- Madam Fl- Madam Fluffy, I hope she at least lets him watch porn. Like, did you hear what he said? <laughs> did you hear what he said? He says, "Oh, society, especially the porn industry, really is like makes his whole hypersexualized." Blah blah blah. He's already he was talking shit about it, and then she nodded her head in agreement, which means she's like. She's right with him on that point. She probably encouraged him to think that, because she doesn't want to have to. She doesn't want to put up with having to do anything. Like, nah, 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 nah. No, he, she doesn't let him watch porn. That's not, you know that's not acceptable. Not in her fuck. Even though she doesn't like sex, she doesn't care, and she probably want she wants him to be happy. If if she saw him watch some porn, it would be over. Do you like them more than me? <laughs> hey, bitch, you won't fuck them. What, what, what you want? What, what do you want? What you want? Snuggle struggle. Five dollars super chat. We're encouraged to Minecraft our children. Illegal immigrants that criminally enter the nation are encouraged to have anchor babies. Clown world. Yeah, yeah. A uh, horn skull VA. Hey y'all, what I miss? And why is Benzino in the thumbnail? <laughs> that is not Benzino. How dare you? 
do that actor like that. <laughs> now it's it's Dr. Han from it's that Dr. Han meme from um <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um the fuck is the name of that show? The one, the show with the autistic doctor kid who freaks the fuck out. Uh, I forgot what it was called though. But yeah, that's what that is. Uh, Arturo Vegas, five dollars super chat. Oh, it's a little noob thingy. Thank you. Animal fox. Back in my day, we just called it celibacy. Only certain plants and animals are asexual. And my thing is, they like the LGBT. Oh fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Some war. I got my nose. It, they they've done so much damage. That everyone has to attach sexuality to something, even like the most mundane personality trait. It's so annoying. You could just say I'm being celibate, but see, you don't want to associate anything that you don't want to have. You don't want to have something that's that could be even mildly associated with religion. So you just oh I it's my sexuality. I'm asexual. It's my sexuality. I'm with the LGBT. <laughs> Cause if you say you're celibate, that that gives off some questions. Like, are, are you a, a Christian or something? Doing this for, for religious reasons? But if you hate religion, you don't want to have have those questions asked. So you just say you're asexual. <laughs> Bone saw is ready. I thought it was Sneeko. <laughs> oh, oh, everybody's saying it's the oh the good doctor. Okay, thank you, thank. You. I was one. I I totally forgot what the name of that show was. societal pressure through media i mean the f industry for one of them um yep <laughs> she doesn't like poor she's not letting him watch that shit she is not letting him watch that shit that was something that i struggled with a lot i knew a lot of people <laughs> I that's something i struggle with a lot <laughs> the facts oh my god yeah my my me being a man is something i struggle with something i struggle <laughs> i gotta say it again i guess it uh, yeah, me being a man is something I struggle with a lot. <laughs> me having normal sexual urges is something I struggle with a lot. Something's wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with her who decided she was asexual at age 13. No, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> with me. <sighs> there's something wrong. Well, let me cap this. This is funny. around me struggled with a lot. If you're consuming that so much, you begin to think that, oh, th this is what a relationship is. This is how sex is supposed to be. I'm supposed to have sex in a relationship. I mean, who came up with that? <laughs> oh, she got him trained so good. She got him whipped so bad. This is what a relationship is. This is how sex is supposed to be. And you know, this is what love is. When in reality, that couldn't really be farther from the truth. Being able to learn that I'm not dependent on that and not needing that. The sex is and I bet you, yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't let him watch porn. I bet you she doesn't even let him around the hot chicks in her friend group. Oh no. She probably gets jealous real quick. I bet you she does. Come on, come on. Get out of here. I mean, your relationship. I mean, the amount of sex you have is not. Uh, 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 I'm a rant. I think this is. We're not even halfway done with this. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> There's just so much bullshit. Not equate to how much I'm in love with my partner. We've gotten comments and people saying to us, they think I'm gonna cheat on Sam because I'm a man and men need sex. And men. Oh wait, 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 Lilith. Oh my God, Lil Lilthy, Lilth. I think that says Lilthy. Please do season two of Interview with the Vampire is the only way I'll watch that crappiness. Yeah, me and Carl are gonna get on it. We swear we are. Uh, it's just taking a long, lo a long time to get to May. <laughs> I hurry the fuck up. And need sex constantly. Yeah, I didn't go in depth about our relationship. Like no one's saying you need sex constantly. We're just saying that you need it in general because. You're a person in a loving, in a, an alleged, allegedly loving relationship. And if you're a normal, if, you, if you're a normal person with a normal sex drive and not asexual, you're going to need it eventually, especially when your spouse is hot. Well, to you, <laughs> the no eyebrows thing is like, ugh, put me off. Like that's always looked creepy to me. But, um, yeah, if they're hot to you and you have a normal sex drive, you're fucked. What, what you going to do? You're fucked. 
and you can't just turn that up. You can't turn off your entire sex drive for another person. I don't give a fuck who is. Hang on, I want to see when Interview with the Vampire season two premieres. I know, I'm, I'm slight intermission. Okay, May 12th. Okay. May 12th, baby. May 12th, Interview with the Vampire season two. I'm going to make sure me and Carl get on this shit. I think I might start paying somebody to edit my videos again. I don't know. It depends. <laughs> on TikTok or anything until I made that video, like, not that long ago with the Barbie sound. He's like, I thought I made so over tonight. And the Barbie's like, to do what? And there's just, like, crickets, There's, like, you know? crickets, crickets, and he's like, I'm actually not sure. Yeah, because it was, like, a play on how they, like, they don't have sex so i'm like oh well that's perfect i do get a little bit of hate online sometimes when i do happen to talk about it so i get things like so you're a robot um asexuals will be the downfall of civilization <laughs> well they're not wrong <laughs> guy with the big mm. implying that like i'm not adequate enough for you even though you don't yeah or like that my asexuality isn't like no she's not the one who's gonna go out and find somebody uh, else he is he is. That's, that's, see, yeah, they're they're wrong because they got they got it mixed up. He's the one who's gonna leave, not her. <laughs> Valid, and it's gonna change, yes. which is not the chance of you guys growing old. Bone saw is ready, brother. Ew. <laughs> You don't yeah or like that my asexuality with... isn't valid and it's gonna change yes. which is not the chance of you guys growing old and staying faithful is almost zero being with you must be torture no. asexuals must live very sad unfulfilling lives i mean being with her is torture because she's like a like a granola munching leftist <laughs> who's obsessed with sexualities and shit uh, that's why it's torture <laughs> Yeah, What's the point of being with you then? That's just mm -hmm. sad that they think that sex is the only thing that matters mm -hmm. when being with someone or being in a relationship. That or, comment like, "What's the point in being with you?" Yeah, just because they can't picture their lives without sex must mean mine's so horrible or his relationship is so unfulfilling. I'd say that you got one person with a normal sex drive and one person without. It's gonna be a little miserable for him sometimes. Oh, because you can't picture your life without sex. <laughs> Motherfucker, we're normal. <laughs> we like people with sex drives made you. Like, I can't stand these motherfuckers, like, in the LGBT. Like, oh, yes. everyone thinks straight is the default. Why is that? Because we fucking made you. We make gay people. <laughs> we birth you, bitch. That's why. Damn. It's like the fucking ego on you people. They made us stronger because we just keep on, mm -hmm. we're, we're living our lives. And I love you, you love me. And what we do is amazing and beautiful. And that's just how I like it. Our friend Cam will be coming over to reveal what he really thinks about our relationship. Yeah, surround yourself with ugly people so he won't fuck anyone. <laughs> surround yourself with ghouls. That's, that's it, girl. Do it right. <laughs> I met Connor, who was like my really good friend. And then he and I went to different middle school. And then that middle school, I met Sam. And then Sam middle school. my best friend. Probably around junior year of high school, I find out they're dating. That's kind of weird, but you know, it's like the coincidence of the world. What did you think when I first revealed I was asexual? Um, I was confused, because I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I, was, I guess I was still learning all that yeah. stuff. I was like, oh, I'm gonna sit on that, you can do that. I understand it more so now, because it's been however many years. It's almost like there's like a taboo around it, around everything that's like not, that fits the normal system. It's not mainstream, society. I guess. Exactly. Yeah. You ever? It's not abnormal. There's plenty of women who won't fuck their significant others. <laughs> plenty of women who don't want to fuck the guy that they're with. It's not abnormal. Earth struggle. <laughs> they have a sexuality counter. It's never really been a challenge to me. It's just animal vox. Humans aren't capable of being biologically asexual. It's literally a type of reproduction. To me, it's just been. Yeah. You ever struggle with same sexuality, Connor? Or... It's never really been a challenge to me. It... It's never really been a challenge to me. He probably jerks off to Rule Thirty Four all the fucking time. <laughs> 
Because like, oh, it's never been a struggle for me. He probably watches porn or rule rule thirty three behind her back, or rule thirty four behind her back. I'm telling you, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. It's just been different. I don't, I don't believe for a second that you ain't str- struggling. You're, the fucking facial expressions in this goddamn video. He's not a happy man. Been different than previous relationships of mine. I mean, yeah. I just think the main misconception is that like you can't have a happy, healthy relationship without sex. But oh, uh, Lilthy, he was thinking I can change her. Yeah, that's definitely what's going on. Like he, he's waiting for the day where she just like, I'm sexually free. I'll do anything, and that's not the day's not coming. It's probably not going to come. She's too attached to this fucking identity. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like we've disproven that. Sex to a lot of people is a big thing, but I mean, it's not everything for yeah. everyone, you know? So it's like everyone has their own ideals in a relationship. Everybody's valid. I think it's a very healthy relationship. That's yeah, everybody's valid, even though I've been snidely uh, remarking to people who have sex this whole fucking time, turning my nose up at these fucking people. Mine is superior because we don't, uh, we, we're about the, uh, yeah, you can just tell she's one of those people who posts on social media, Asexuality is about the heart. The heart. We love. We don't ruin our relationship with sex. <laughs> you can just tell because the whole aura of this is just that. Healthier ones I've seen. Just wondering, would you be able to be with someone who's asexual? Um. Hell no. I don't know. I've. That's a no. <laughs> He's not gonna. Like I said, the circles they run in, they can't say. They can't have an opinion. A definite opinion about shit. Would you ever be asexual? I'd be like, fuck no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> hell, hell no. But they, yeah, they can't take that answer. So he's got to dance around it. Be like, oh, I don't know. Maybe. That means no. Would you be able to be with someone who's asexual? Um, I, I don't know. I've <laughs> love being physical in any in any sense, you know, it's it's a big part of a relationship to me, but if if that's truly what they would desire, then I would, yeah. Today we're gonna Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, liberal approved opinion. <laughs> I'm wondering, hang on, can I make her loop <laughs> her nodding? That would be hilarious to me. Truly what they would desire then I right? Six thirty. Hold on. Six thirty-one. Thirty-one. God damn it. Six thirty-two. Okay, let's see how that works. They would desire them. They would desire. No, no, that's not working. Shit. I would, yeah. I would, yeah. <laughs> the nodding. <laughs> I would, yeah. I would, yeah. I would. No, oh, wait, not applicable. Two dollars super chat. Some of these people need it broke off in the most. I would, yeah. I would, yeah. Oh, c- I come would, on, yeah. scroll, god damn it. I, would, yeah. I feel like I missed I would, one. Yeah. Okay, wait. I don't think I did. I would, yeah. No, I didn't. I would, yeah. I would, yeah. I would, yeah. I would, yeah, like she's nodding, like, yeah, I approve of this I opinion. Would, yeah. This is the right opinion. Today we're going to be heading to the tattoo shop to give Connor a new tattoo. Perks of having a girlfriend mm-hmm. who's a tattoo artist, I mean... That's probably the best benefit. I started learning how to tattoo a year ago. Sometimes I do practice on Connor. Um, whenever he has an idea, I'll just do it or whatever I feel. I did my first tattoo oh, on shit. Him, but... Jack Diamond, $2 super chat, asexual. <laughs> Say it, don't spray it. Those are some other ones on his arm that I've done. Our inspiration today is just nature because that's what I tend to do the most and that's what I tend to do the best. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing this little snail dude carrying an acorn. He's on a little mission. Yeah, you got the dumbest tattoos. So (laughs) he's cute. Sam has changed my life in terms of just allowing me. Oh, Zigzag. Poor goth boyfriend. I suppose he does deserve it though. I mean, he's doing it to himself. But God forbid he comes across like some big titty goth girlfriend. 
you know, potential big titty goth girl. And then it's, it's over. It's over. Like I said, it, this shit ain't going to It's fine for him to talk this shit now. Because he's young. He thinks he's in love with this bitch. And, um, you know, it's just something to, it's something to feel like, oh yeah, I'm so open and real because I'm dating an asexual chick. Like, but this, this is, this, this is temporary. This is not going, this ain't going to go nowhere. Bone saw is ready. $2 super chat. Are we sure she wasn't touched funny? It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Not applicable. $2 super chat. Only one who needs to be ace is fictional darling. <laughs> Oh boy. To open up and be free. Free in a way of expression, free in the way of love. My life would not be a fraction as happy and great as it would be today without her. You've made me believe in like love again, of course. Just for the past four years, you've been unconditionally wonderful. You're so accepting and open-minded and very kind. I feel like our relationship works because we're so open and communicative with each other and nothing's off limits, even the tough conversations. All right, you're done. Check it out. Look at that. It's amazing. I'm glad you like My thing is, do they kiss at all? Oh, I think they, oh wait, I see a little bit. They, I think they do. Like it. I, I think you came out cute. People who judge our relationship, I feel like they just need to open their mind a little more, get out, talk to more people, and see that not every relationship is heteronormative. Think it, yours is fucking heteronormative. What the fuck are you talking about? You're a man, you're, she's, he's a man and you're a woman. It's heteronormative. See, that's what I'm, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Once you start talking like this, in reference, because asexuality, like I'm willing to think that's real, because it is real. But when you start adding on this other shit, heteronormativity and talking about it as if it's like a part of the LGBT, I'm just like, I just said, yeah, that, no, mm-mm. <laughs> This is, this is a hobby for you. <laughs> this is a fucking hobby. <laughs> Once you start putting that activist shit into it, I'm just like, no, you're, you're full of shit. Cute. People who judge our relationship, I feel like they just need to open their mind a little more, get out, talk to more people and see that not every relationship is heteronormative. They you are definitely heteronormative because you are a woman and he's a man. And y'all still get, y'all still in a romantic relationship as a man and as, as a woman. Are you fucking so deluded? Deludal. <laughs> Are you so deluded that you think that your relationship is actually like gay adjacent or queer adjacent? Are you fucking dumb? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Not applicable. $2 super chat. FD's teeth couldn't come out. His hips come out. Uh, hips of another woman. Wait, what the fuck? Teeth couldn't. Come out hips. Oh my, you know, I cannot understand that for the life of me. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cynical person. You just don't get it, Jay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like they want people to understand them more. And um, p the people who release videos on Truly or, or film videos for Truly to have people understand their lives more, like they do accomplish that, but it's kind of in the reverse of what they think. It doesn't help that people accept them. It just makes them, oh, this, these are the people we need to avoid. <laughs> yeah, we totally get what the situation is and we're going to avoid you now. <laughs> You're ready to, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't, yeah, this isn't going to work out. Like, it's naive to think he's not going to find some chick eventually that comes along and who's willing to fuck him and it's going to happen. Either she's going to take him from you on purpose or he going to leave. Like, what? <laughs> I don't th no, I just don't think this is gonna last. <laughs> okay, what else they got to say? Things can be different and the love is still is heteronormative. Things can be different and the love is still ever growing. It's never too late to try and be better and to try and be more accepting. Try to be better. Oh, I'm so accepting because I, I will let my girlfriend not fuck me. <laughs> I'm so accepting because I'm shutting down my normal human male sexuality just to be with some mid chick. Yeah, yay! <laughs> like, what kind of shit is that? Oh, God. Jimber Jamber, five dollars super chat. See, I get annoyed when people brag about how much sex they have. Now I have to deal with the exact opposite, too. Thanks, Alphabet Squad. <laughs> uh, 
Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> it's 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 not too late to be more accepting of your girlfriend's dry pussy. Like it's <laughs> My wife doesn't is repulsed by me sexually. Yay. So accepting of that. Valid. Okay, we got one more from Truly. And then I think we're gonna do a couple of real short videos. Oh shit, Bonesaw is ready. Five dollars super chat. This is one of the few cases where the AI girlfriend might be a legit improvement. Wow. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, we got this one. This one is a special piece of shit. My 14 year old sister shoots my OnlyFans content. Oh, uh, I didn't do this before, right? I don't think I did. But yeah, that's a special kind of gross. This is like the grossest one out of all of them, in my opinion. Uh, oh, excuse me. Joey Joster, $5 Super Chat. She really said, anyone that judges us should just go touch grass. <laughs> but yeah, she, she lets her 14-year-old sister shoot her OnlyFans content. Mm. And I love how this is right after the asexual one because this is the other side of that of this, that spectrum. Well, this is the other side of the sexuality spectrum. This being just just put, doing too much. <laughs> and you can't tell me this isn't a way for her to market her OnlyFans, to market pet. For, like, you know what? Let's just let's just watch it first. My name is Chloe. I am. She's not even. I'm gonna be real. In the face, she ain't all that. <laughs> I know I'm slightly hating, but you're letting your four, four, you're letting your 14 year old sister film your porn. So, um, fuck you. 29 and I am an adult content creator. I have four children. So where's the father at? I bet you he ain't, he ain't around. My oldest is nine years old. Her name is Ray. I hate the wet hair look. It looks so dumb in my opinion. Just walking around looking wet constantly. Just. Like, why? I have a son. He is Reese. He is seven years old. I have twin daughters that are identical. They are six years old and they are Bio and Nona. And my sister Brianna, she's 14 years old. Also, you shouldn't be featuring them. Look, even look at this. <laughs> even though she's looking over at the cameraman, he's like, why are you here? <laughs> you shouldn't be even featuring, be featuring your children in this video. Even that's overstepping, even though this isn't, isn't an OnlyFans video, so this is overstepping the line, it's just gonna set them up to get bullied. Like, what, what, why do y'all do this shit? Like, why? Years old, she lives with me for six months now. She came down to help me for the summer and decided to stay here with me. Let's go. I would say that I'm kind of like a strict parent, but also a fun parent. Yeah, you know what that means. She's not strict at all. <laughs> I'm a strict parent, but I'm a fun parent. Oh, meaning my, as soon as my little girl gets to about 16, I'll let her open up an OnlyFans one day. <laughs> My kids don't really know what exactly I do for a living. They have an idea. They do now, dumbass. Uh, that I do something in the social media world, but they don't know that it's adult content creating. They do now. And you know, like I said, kids are going to beat up their ass with this it's when they get old, when the kids get old enough to use the fucking internet <laughs> to like print pictures and shit. Like, oof. Remember that scene from uh, the Rob Zombie Halloween movie, uh, the Rob Zombie Halloween re remake, the first one, and Michael Myers' mother was a stripper. Um, bear with me. I know it sounds dumb. <laughs> yeah, his mom was a stripper. And one of those little rat bastard bullies brought her little, um, her little stripper flyer where she's wearing pasties and shit to school. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. <laughs> except they're gonna like except kids have smartphones and shit. Uh as well as um 4K printers with with full color. <laughs> the, yeah, it's a, 
at least Michael Myers' mom wore pasties. You know what I mean? At least there was something shielding, you know, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's just, you just setting your kids up for failure. And for a, a long, for, for a long, like, <laughs> I can't even finish the sentence. But you're just setting them up for a long life of just like dysfunction doing this shit. And I bet you there's no dad around. So I'm like, so there's no anchor for them. <laughs> I try to keep them away from it. So I do plan on telling my kids what I do. I try to keep them away. I love how that, that pause and the zoom in and shit, like, oh, I try to keep them away from it. Yeah, because truly knows what the deal is. They know that she's a fucking idiot. But they don't know that it's adult content creating. I try to keep them away from it. So I <laughs> Not hard enough, apparently. Truly is just like, sometimes they're, they got, they have impeccable comedic timing. That zoom in and that, that pause as she low key kind of internally realizes, oh, maybe I don't keep them away from it because I'm kind of blabbing about this shit on a, a 10.2 million subscriber YouTube channel. <laughs> I do plan on telling my kids what I do when they're much older. I feel like they're still so young and they don't understand exactly what I do. You want to do it on the edge of the bench? Yeah, we're going to do it right here. My sister Brianna, she helps me shoot my reels, my TikToks, my Instagram pictures, some behind the scenes. So when I'm shooting. Oh, yeah. Oh, not directly your OnlyFans shit, just the stuff that advertises your OnlyFans. See, that makes it better, even though it fucking doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't. The scenes, so when I'm shooting with photographers, so she's been a lot of help. And it Oh yeah, you got your fucking legs open in front of your sister. But she's wearing pants, right? Hang on, let me rewind that. Talks, my Instagram pictures. Okay, she's not. Some behind the scenes, so when I'm shooting with photographers, so she's been a lot but of- But it looks like she had her fucking legs open. It looks like she's got her fucking legs open. Like, what is that? Or maybe that's just her leg going this way. I don't know. I think it is. I think I'm, it's just optically, it's just confusing. And it's nice having family here too. <laughs> okay, look at this. But yeah, she's got like the camera going up at her. We had, we, yeah, that's a porn shot. And a horror movie shot, but a porn shot too. With this idea to have her up help you in the first place. Um, it actually kind of happened by accident. We were out at the grocery store and she started, I was like, hey, can you can you take this video of me real quick? Cause normally I would use my tripod, but I didn't bring it with me that day. So she started taking it and I was like, you know what? Maybe you should just be my tripod. <laughs> I really. <laughs> or maybe you could just hire some scangy fucking dude off the internet to help you out with this shit. Like an, or hire an actual fucking photographer. I really want to like do more photography when I grow up and this is like I, like it's really helping me get yeah, it's really helping me um filming my up my sister's twat it, it really helps me it's really gonna help my chances as a photographer and I love the fact that I have um been exploited by my sister in this video um being uh trotted being like yeah exploited and being known as my sister's OnlyFans model photographer, that'll really help me get jobs later on in life, being known for this video. <laughs> yeah, your sister fuck you. She's like, she's like, she really fuck you in the long run. <laughs> this video's not gonna do well for you, sweetie. Proud of her. See, but yeah, your mother's probably someone who's never had a real fucking job, so she doesn't know. Well, and plus, she doesn't really keep this profession from her kids anyway. She's bad at that. She doesn't know anything about repercussions and consequences or like, you know, um, the future, you know what I mean? So, a horned skull VA says, I think her legs are open, Jay. Oh, 
Madam Fluffy, she does have her legs open, Jay. The video's likely censored. Oh my God. You know what? You're probably fucking right. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to ruin her chances of like, she said, I want to be a photographer professionally. Well, your sister fucked you on that, on that end. Because this is what you're going to be known for. When people look you up, they're going to find this fucking video. And you're be like, you're, you were, when you, you were 14, you filmed your sister's only fan shit. You put the camera up her twat and all this shit. Like, I don't know if we're going to hire you. For, <laughs> Star 499 Super Chat. Imagine writing filmed for sisters only fans on your resume. Dear God. <laughs> Let me get closer to that. I'm so proud of her. I'm really proud of her. Yeah, you let her live in your house. Don't act like, don't act like one of the conditions of her living in your house was, was her helping you with your OnlyFans. Let's, let's be real here. That was probably a condition of her living there. You got to film this shit for me. I need help over here because I'm a single mom doing OnlyFans and I don't want to hire a scangy ass dude over here to film this shit because uh, the porn industry kind of, you know, attracts scangy ass fucking people. And I have no man to protect me from that or to protect me from myself, clearly. Uh, so I'm gonna need my 14 year old sister to come down here. And the only way you can come down here is, that, is if you photograph up my twat. And if you wanna become a photographer later on in life, this is going to fuck your, up your rep. <laughs> fucking, around, fucking around with me. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that was, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's this video. Uh, Lord Fortungus, $2 super chat. How does Truly Barcroft uh, still find these people? Um, I think they just go around LA, Florida, <laughs> Portland's, or like usually it's, I think people uh, reach them. And you know, the people, the type of people who would reach them are probably narciss narcissists and, you know, people with emotional problems, attachment issues. It's never, they're never like great people. <laughs> So my life when I- seven seven u seven seven u seven. For all we know, it, this could all be fake. But yes, that's the thing. If it's fake, it's still bad. It's still pretty fucked up because you hired a, a fourteen year old actress to pretend to be, or like you hired a fourteen year or someone who looks fourteen to act like a fourteen year old <laughs> photographing your OnlyFans in order to, um, in order to advertise your OnlyFans, which means, and this is the point I was gonna make in the beginning. This is, if this is like a low key advertisement of her OnlyFans, she is enticing creepy niggas to come to her OnlyFans thinking that they're gonna see a 14 year old girl and her. And if, she, if she's not doing it on purpose, it's still like, what the fuck you think? After, after this video, what the fuck you think is gonna happen? They gonna come to your channel thinking they gonna find a 14 year old girl posing with you. Or like, you see, oh, like, you know, 14 year old girls behind the camera. I'm so fucking hard right now. Oh. Cause there are people that creepy. Trust me. I first got divorced. I was working at a dental office. I was a receptionist. Of course So got I would rarely see my kids. It was always just like a busy go-go life. Right here. So I'll have you sh like shoot from here. I started doing adult content creating because of my financial like needs. In my first month, I made a little- Because of my financial needs. Um, you say you got divorced. You didn't get no money from that? In LA? If she's in LA, is she in LA? Well, let's go back. Where am I at? 233. Let's go back. Where the fuck is she at? I have four children. I am 29 and I am an adult content creator. I have four children. I am 29. My name is Chloe. I am 29 and I am an adult content creator. I have four children. So my oldest is nine years old. In my first. That could be LA. I don't know. But like you didn't get no money from that divorce. He was working at a dental office. And now oh, I have to do this for money. Now I have to do OnlyFans for money. Like, and, but the thing is, there's no guarantee of making a lot of money on OnlyFans from what I hear. 
the, there's only a small, tiny percentage of people who make like su- like a sustainable fucking income on OnlyFans. Because like, well, Pornhub could because Pornhub exists and X videos exists and all these other fucking places exist where you can get porn for free and they leak this shit on Reddit anyway. So yeah, so there's not a lot of supply and demand going on (laughs) for OnlyFans. So yeah, there's that. So it's like, it's a small percentage of people making serious, like good sustainable money on OnlyFans. So I'm like, I love how she goes, oh, I just got into this because I got divorced and I, so why did you quit that dental job? The dental office job? You could have been doing both. I don't know why these hoes don't cover their faces when they do OnlyFans. That's what I'd be doing. If I was going to do OnlyFans, I'm covering, covering my fucking face. I'm not saying a word. I'm just going to show some titties and do some poses with my face out of frame. So no one knows it's me. And make sure and make sure I dress up my living room or whatever to, or my bedroom to make sure no one knows it's my house. But instead they put their faces all out there and they're su- fucking shocked and surprised when they get judged for judged for this shit. Oh, single player Carl oh Carl is here. I'ma sit here until she notices, but can y'all let her know I'm here? Okay. You know what? I'm just now looking at your message. Uh, apparently he wants to come on in to the stream. You know, I'm gonna wait until we start doing, um, a real short video because I don't think he has watched that with me yet. Cause I want to, I want I just want to go on un- all unfiltered on this. Not anyone interrupting. I'll let you, I like Carl, I'll let you in when I start on the real short videos. I'll let you in then. Month I made a little over three grand, and that was a little more than what I was making at my. Hang on, ruin it. Because of my financial like needs, in my first month I made a little over three grand. In my first month I made a, a little over three grand, and if you live in LA, that ain't shit. <laughs> and sh- and what else you say? And that was a little more than what I was making at my nine to five. A little bit more than she was making. So if she had kept that job and then did this, because with OnlyFans, all you gotta do is what? Have different outfits and pose for like for pictures and shit or video. You can do all that. You can do a week's worth of fucking content in a couple nights. Like you could like you could that, and you could have kept the dental job on top of that. You could have been making what, at least five, six grand a month? And it could have sustained your life as it is now? And like I said, when you were divorced, I don't understand why you're not getting any money from that. <laughs> oh, single player Carl J. Longbone, it's that top 1%. It's that, it's that the top 1% are the only people who can sustain it. And they're already famous and use it as cl- as a clout machine like the uh, Lynn the Plug Adam 22 thing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Bonesaw is ready and she's 29. So that clock is ticking on how long she can do this. Also true. She would have to, re- she would have to convert her. Uh, she would have to convert her content as MILF content. Seth, uh, Seth Brown, but you're not insane. JL. I forgot when I, uh, when I implied I did, but yeah, thank you for telling me that. Cause there are times where I think I am insane. Single player, Carl. And of those women, they're doing penetration, not just poses and solo girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel Brito, please do, please do OFJ long run. You, you don't want that. You really don't fucking want that. <laughs> Horn Scovier, only Jays featuring Henry Cavill. Maybe. <laughs> like if Henry Cavill wanted to do some, um, some charity porn, <laughs> which is fucking weird, by the way. Uh, but if you wanted to do that, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Uh, single player Carl, what do you consider that woman, that what the women are doing? 3K off pictures? That doesn't sound right from what I know. Yeah. Like I said, she got her 14-year-old sister into it. I, I'm thinking that this whole thing is like involving her 14-year-old sister is like part of the advertising. Getting in creeps, like getting the creeps in. 
so they can spend money on the off chance that they might see a 14 year old girl. That's just, that's my opinion though. That was good. So, good. So now I'm making 30,000 a month. So that's- What? So we went from, I was making like three grand, a little over, and now I'm making 30. How the fuck did you go to, from three to 30? Over three grand and that was, started doing adult content creating because of my financial like needs. In my first month, I made a little over three grand and that was a little more than what I was making. Okay, that was her first month. So now I'm, okay, now I'm listening to it. In her first month, she, she made three grand. I think you're lying. In your first month, I know porn is like a huge thing. Like it's a huge, very lucrative, multi-billion dollar business, but I don't believe for as fuck as You're still an independent contractor. There's no, and plus Pornhub, uh, excuse me, X videos and all these places exist. There's no way you made three grand in a month. I don't believe you. Seth Brown, show me the receipts. <laughs> making at my nine to five. That was good. So, good. so now I'm making 30,000 a month. Now I'm making 30,000 a month off this week shit. <laughs> off this week shit. Oh, that's amazing. I honestly, my goal was to make like 10 and I've like killed it, so. <laughs> She's, you're making 30 grand off this, off this shit? I don't believe you. I really don't. Uh, Carl, the only way she scaled up from three grand to, to <laughs> the only way she scaled up from three K to 30 K is she was getting collabs. And that's the only, that's the only way to spin up that quick without an agent. Yeah, that, or she could be doing a little prostituting. She could be like, isn't there like, can't you do like some escorting on the side with this shit too? The difference it's made in my life and my kid's life is that I am able to be with them. The difference is gonna, it's gonna make in your kid's future life. Uh, yeah, y'all getting a little money right now, but like when they start getting bullied over this shit, the money's not gonna seem like a, a, such a huge deal anymore. A lot more now. And this year I was able to purchase this home. I used to live in a not good area where there was a lot of crime. <laughs> So I was very- Los Angeles has crime everywhere. <laughs> I a lot of crime. And the place I live now still has a lot of crime. <laughs> Bone saw is ready, $2 super chat. Could the OF be an ad for escorting? Yeah, that's what I was implying. Like, yeah, that could, yeah, that could be, this was like a, um, 